Hey, I'm Larry Janeski from Dr. Energy Saver. You know, we have uh, Dr. Energy Savers all over the United States. And in our country, we have so many different climates. We have coastal climates, we have mountain climates, we have dry, hot climates like in the Southwest. We have cold climates, we have mixed humid climates, and we have hot humid climates, as represented by where we are today in Central Florida. You know, the purpose of a home is to create comfort for the homeowners, for the occupants. And what do we like as far as comfort? Well, we like it between 70 and 75 degrees. We like low relative humidity. And in any of the climates, uh, we always have challenges. We want to keep heat out of the building in some climates or some seasons. And other seasons, we wanna keep heat in the building. And we wanna control humidity. Well, Florida homes uh, here in the Southeast have lots of problems. Let's take a look. One of the big problems with heating and air conditioning systems in any climate is that they're not pressure balanced throughout the house with a even distribution of supply air to each room and return air to each room. In this case, this is very common uh, around here, we have our air handler, so this is our uh, air conditioning, and we have our return coming in the bottom and our supply duct going out the top. Now the supply trunk line runs through the attic and supplies are branched off to each room. Let's take a look what the return air duct is doing. Here we are just outside the utility room and we see a return grill here and a return grill here. Well, there's no other returns anywhere else in the house. This means that we are drawing all our return air from these common areas, from the kitchen, from the living room, from the dining room, and from the central hallway. When bedroom doors are closed, we have no return air coming back from the bedrooms. Let's see what happens. Here we are in one of the three bedrooms of this house, and here we see a supply duct. So from the uh, duct system, the uh, conditioned air comes out of this duct, but there's no return duct in this bedroom. So what ha will happen is the supply air will blow up the bedroom. So we'll have positive pressure in this bedroom and force more air out through this sliding glass door, through any windows, through the walls, through the ceiling, into the attic, and that is not a good thing. We're pushing conditioned air outside the house. Let's measure and quantify the, this difference in pressure. When this bedroom door is open, the door opening itself serves as the return because the central area is where we're drawing air back to the HVAC system. So this really is our return. The air can come out of the supply duct into the bedroom and run out through the hallway. But the problem is when we close the door. When we close the door, we no longer have a return into that bedroom. And this could be a problem. Let's measure it. I have a device here that can quantify the pressure difference across the door. And if I close this door, that I have 5.4 pascals of negative pressure. Two and a half pascals is acceptable. We have uh, the air handler running, supply duct is pumping air into this bedroom, but no return air is coming out because the door is closed. 5.3 pascals of negative pressure. That means that side has more pressure, this side has less pressure. That means that side is gonna push air out of the house, and on this side, the main area, the living area, the kitchen and so forth, we're depressurizing it because we're taking more air from it than we're putting back into it. We're putting a disproportionate amount of air into the bedrooms that cannot then get back. So what we're doing in the main uh, kitchen and living area is sucking air in through the walls, through the windows and doors, uh, from the attic and from any air holes that uh, to the outside to make up for it. So having imbalanced uh, air pressure in a house because the duct system is not designed properly is going to increase the amount of air leakage in the house. The exchange of air between inside and outside is going to make our home feel more drafty. It's going to make, uh, in this climate, it's going to draw hot hum humid air from the outside into the house that we then have to pay electricity to run our air conditioning system to remove that moisture, to cool that air. It's just a not good situation. So what we're going to do is fix this problem. Now, many homes, north, south, east, west, will have a central return from the uh, HVAC system in a central hallway. 
And we still have the same problem here. There's supply ducts in various rooms and no return ducts in those rooms. When we close those doors, our pressures are way off. Uh, so what we're going to do to fix this problem is add a return uh, grill in each of these three bedrooms so that supply air can get in and return air can get out and we balance the pressures not only in those bedrooms when the doors are closed but also in the main body living area of the house so we have less uh, air exchange from inside to outside one way or the other. Okay, so now we've added our return grills as you can see in here. We put that return in this room and we put returns in these other two bedrooms, three extra returns. And now let's see, before we had five pascals of negative pressure um, in here, or five pascals of positive pressure, we should say, in the bedroom with the air handler running. Now we've added the returns. Let's see what happens now. And look at that under two pascals of pressure, two pascals, before we were about five. So what's happening is the new return that we put in, you can see it here, that's the return that we put in, is now allowing air to get out of this room back to the air handler so that we don't blow up the room with pressure. When we blow up the room with pressure, because we don't have a return and only a supply, what happens is, the less air comes out of the supply because it's got positive pressure against it, backing it up against the supply duct, so less air will come out. Now we have less positive pressure, more air will come out of the supply duct, and that air could get back out of our return duct. So now if we look at this room, and this room was uh, about five pascals before, we have one and a half, uh, less than two pascals of positive pressure in this room. So the return ducts that we put in, there were jumper ducts is what they were. They did the trick. We hope this video has really helped you get an understanding of what we do here. We hope your home is the next one we have the opportunity to work on. Give us a call today.